And now to that big news here, the winter storm. We are just hours away from feeling the effects. And many rush to the stores today, getting the last minute supplies. CBS 17's Brea Hollingsworth is live outside of Wegmans. I'm sure a busy day out there, Brea. Oh, yeah, it's very busy out here. This parking lot has been nonstop. Lots of people told me they came out here today to get all the necessities ahead of the storm. Kaikisha Jarman joined the grocery store rush today. Today I am shopping, preparing for the weather. Um, got a little bread, water, um, and just a few things for tonight for dinner. She told me it's the third store she's been to today. Is when I went to the food lines and um, I went to Walmart, they didn't have pretty much anything. So came over here to Wegmans in hopes that they were going to have something. Many people stocking up on items ahead of the winter storm. We just got some basic things just so in case uh, we can't get out for a day that we're not <laughs> caught without food. North Carolina's governor today declared a state of emergency and says the state is fully prepared. Earlier this week, the Department of Transportation applied brine to roads to keep them from icing over. The governor's also calling in additional help. I've also activated 200 National Guard soldiers to assist in storm response. The National Guard will work in western and central counties to help with transportation. And with supplies and stores already low due to the pandemic, Donald Campbell, chief of staff with North Carolina Emergency Management, says only take what you need. One reminder that we do have is that individuals focus on what they would need for the next two to three days and not to take more than they need in the stores. And the transportation secretary says the department has 160,000 tons of salt to use on hand if they need it. They also have 400 trucks staged and ready to go. In Raleigh, Brea Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. All right, thanks, Brea.